Hey YouTube, it's Mark. I make one more update video on my battle wagon. I've got it primed finally. The weather was not very cooperative. I had to go over some frosted spots. Uh, but I'm just going to make a quick video to show you all the magnetizing I've done. Of course, you know that the reinforced ram is magnetized out front. Patch is magnetized. So is the uh, boarding point. Uh, let's see what else we did here. I got this little orky cover plate magnetized on for the two little holes. Uh, here is the pencil mounted turret which is also magnetized for the little holes. So is the lid. The uh, hatch here is magnetized. It comes off. But I can put it in any position I want. And the guy that sits in there is also magnetized. So he will stay in there when I want him to. I can just pull them out and close the hatch. I don't run it either way, just for some options. The hatch will sit there and it ties in. And then I can hang out with those. Uh, the rock turret is also magnetized for the little holes and the barrel is magnetized. Should I ever decide to change the weapon, build another weapon for it? I can. Uh, I don't foresee myself ever using anything except big shooters. But who knows? But I, can, I have the option at least. Of course, everything fits on the magnetized little hole on top of the main turret. The main turret was a little more work. I wanted to be able to magnetize weapons for the main turret as well. Uh, while the zap gun will slide in and out without too much problem, the cannon actually does not. I mean, the can's a little too big for the rest of my army, so it'll probably be add some tube, I'll add some tube to it to make it a kill cannon and to make a whole new cannon that matches the rest of my army. Anyway, so what I did here was I magnetized the front of the turret. So it just pops off, it's done with it. And it's on the side there. Pops in. And the mouse are in there. Magnetized. So I can the zap gun will just slide in there. It's magnetized on the side. And it'll stay in there. The zap gun's magnetized. This the way I think. Let's put the cannon in. This the way it's set up. And it's not going anywhere. It's in here like this. Look at that. And it's definitely not going anywhere. Here, down here, and uh, this will be my most common configuration. Will be a cannon and either one or two big shooters. Uh, if I go and run, I'll just put the working cover plate on there. I have one big shooter, one cannon. And I think that will probably be what I run most of the time. So you now it's time to spray paint on these spray painting it the same color as my uh, other battle wagon, as soon as the weather cooperates. Uh, just the armor part, so basically from here up, it's going to be, all the armor sides are going to be red. Your carriage is going to stay black. The inside is going to be painted black and metal, and just a white dry brush on the passenger compartment. But the outside is going to be all the maroon that my other battle wagon is going to be. And so that's what I've done with my battle wagon. Lots of magnets, lots of work, but uh, I have an infinite number of combinations and possibilities on what to run with it. So I guess I'll do another update when I get it more, when I get it some, get some paint on it. Till then, later YouTube.